Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video we are doing a makeup look that looks as if you didn't apply makeup when you actually did apply makeup. <laughs> so I usually don't do this but someone requested for me to do it because when I choose not to wear makeup I just don't wear makeup and when I choose to wear makeup I go all the way out like I beat my face but anyway some of you wanted to see how to rock a no makeup look but you when you actually uh, actually applied makeup so I tried you know to gather all my spirit and come up with something for you guys because this makes me really uncomfortable because I mean if you want to just wear makeup just wear your makeup and if you don't want just don't but because it's you guys and didn't I decided let me do this for you so if you want to see how to rock a makeup no makeup look then just keep watching this video so to fill in your brows when you're doing this kind of makeup look you want to use a powder so today I'm gonna use my Switch Beauty palette and I'm gonna use this color right here which is more of a dark very dark brown You just want to fill in your brows lightly so that they don't look hungry. But as well, you want to make sure that they are not overly filled. And then to shape my brows that I lightly filled in, I use uh, either the Fit Me Maybelline uh, Concealer, which is exactly the same shade as my foundation, or I use the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer. The reason why I'm using these concealers is because there is a, a huge a shade range for these concealers, so you're bound to find one that really actually matches your skin. And if you can't find one that matches your skin, just use your foundation. I'm just going ahead and I'm shaping the bottom of my brow. I'm not going to shape the top of my brow because if I do shape the top, it's just going to make my brows too defined. You guys should know this took me like a lot of courage and huge self-control for me to do this. At this point in time, I just feel like filling in my brows heavy, but <laughs> we're not going to do that. We're just going to continue and I'm just going to try and control myself. Next in, I'm going to go in with uh, this NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick. The reason why I'm using an illuminating stick is because we just want to give uh, the skin that natural glow. You know, so because we're not going to be applying a uh, foundation, we just want to illuminate the skin and lie to people, you know, make people believe that we have gorgeous skin when in reality we do not. So I'm just smearing that all over my face. Then I'm taking my little beauty blender and then I am just working it into my skin. Minimize the appearance of these dark marks. We are going to be using concealer instead, not foundation. And you can see I am attacking the area exactly where these dark spots are. That's what I'm doing and I'm just gonna do a little bit more under my eyes and I recommend for you to use your fingers instead of your brush if you don't if you don't want to use concealer you can use a, a CC cream this one is from body shop or if you don't want to use the CC cream you can also use the BB cream Because under eyes are not your friend and they will crease no matter who you think you are your under eyes will crease so you still want to set them and I am using my signature cosmetics translucent powder and I'm just applying a little bit under my eyes 
so that they don't crease. Then to brighten up my face, I'm gonna use this blush from e.l.f. and I'm taking this color right here and I'm just applying it around my face and on my cheekbones. And then again to set my face, I'm gonna go with the NYX uh, matte bronzer and I'm just gonna use that to set the whole of my face. So because we do want to glow but without making it so obvious that we applied highlighter, it's better to use like stick highlighters like this one that I've used in the beginning or to use our illuminators or to use our cream highlighters. So I'm going to go in first with the NYX Bright Idea Illuminator Stick and then I'm just going to apply it on the highest points of my face. So to finish off the look, I will go in with my setting spray and then just make my face dewy. It's better to use a setting spray that makes you look dewy than matte. So I'm using my MAC Prep and Palm. You can even spray your face with water. It does the same thing. Ooh. This step that I'm going to do is totally unnecessary but you know me guys I can't do without my eyelashes so I'm just gonna apply my eyelashes if you don't want to apply eyelashes you can always apply your mascara but for me when I don't have eyelashes I feel so dead so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my eyelashes offline so I went ahead and I applied my eyelashes offline and before you come for me like I said this is a personal choice if you feel like you don't need them don't do them just do your mascara personally I need lashes because they give me life that's why I did them and then the last thing that I will do is I'm gonna apply a clear gloss go for labello go for whatever you want just don't put color on your lips if you want to look as if you didn't apply any makeup when you did. I'm using my Essence Nude Lip Gloss and you can find it from Kix and Discam. This brings us to the end of the video and this is the look that I managed to create. I really tried. I was struggling. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Do the day things. And also, if you haven't watched my everyday makeup tutorial, go ahead and watch right here. Click right here and go watch my other tutorial when I did my everyday makeup. Otherwise, I love you guys for watching me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.